Astrobiology is the study of life across our universe. It studies how did life start and where, where can we find life, and where is it headed. But how did this area of science start, and what has microbiology got to do with it? Astrobiology started being used as a term around 1950s. This is Dr. Andre Antunes, Associate Professor and Leader of the Astrobiology Unit at Macau University of Science and Technology. The naming of the field had to do with the first lander missions, the first missions to other planets, and the expectation that we might find life there. The bigger boosts came a little bit later on, namely with the discussion of Martian meteorite and the possibility, while well, it was very controversial, but possible evidence of some sort of fossilized bacteria in the 90s, and then the return to Mars, and of course, with the rover missions from, from NASA. Uh, by then, there had been a significant shift in scientific and popular perspectives on the resilience of life. And so there was a big shift, and people were sort of expecting that uh, life might actually be possible in other locations, no matter how extreme they might look at first glance. A uh, very important aspect is to study so-called terrestrial analog sites. And terrestrial analog sites are locations on our planet that share uh, some sort of similarities with conditions on other on other planets. Desert locations, for example, the Antarctic, deep sea locations, they all share similarities with different uh, parts of our solar system, namely, for example, the oceans and the icy moons of the outer solar system. We study these terrestrial analog sites, these extreme sites, to understand whether life could exist in other locations in the solar system. Another important aspect is the analysis of geological records and meteorites, for example, and studying biosignatures and microbial preservation. So looking for uh, lipids, DNA, other biomolecules that might be preserved in rocks. Other aspects that are important when studying microbes in space are exposure experiments, and you can do exposure experiments based in the lab. You can also do it based in environmental conditions, even do experiments in space, so making use of the International Space Station or satellite launches. And the idea behind exposure experiments is expose microbes, different types of microbes, to outer space conditions, to extreme radiation, to vacuum, high UV levels, so there's a bunch of different things that you can do.